Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. My mom's gonna pop in a little bit later on with her guest review today. But before I talk about the first title, please hit that like button or thumbs up button if you guys support my videos. But guys, let's get on to the first title here from Scream Factory or Shout Factory, whatever you guys would like to call them. It's a really cool 80s slasher slasher film that I've always loved. It's one of my top ten of all time. And and as soon as I found out that Shout Factory announced this title on their Facebook page, I almost went nuts. I went kind of nerdy crazy because I absolutely love this film. And that film is Sleepaway Camp here on a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, the Collector's Edition. If you guys don't know Sleepaway Camp, it's one of those uh, like Friday the 13th movies that are kind of like, it's kind of like a ripoff of Friday the 13th and the Burning and stuff like that. Around that time period after Friday the 13th and Burning came out, a lot of movies you know, we're set on campgrounds and people getting picked off one by one, like the same kind of formula. And this was one of them that I really stood out to me that I met, that I just really love. And it's pretty much about this young girl named Angela. She, her parents mysteriously died in a boating accident and she's sent to live with her crazy Aunt Martha. And her crazy Aunt Martha sends her and her cousin to a sleepaway camp. And as soon as they arrive to this sleepaway camp, people start dying, people start getting injured, and everybody who wants to know who's doing this but of course you don't know until the end of the movie who the killer is it's one of those kind of movies I've always loved this film it, it's, it just really stands out to me because this, the girl Angela played by Felissa Rose she just she brings a lot to this movie she doesn't have a whole lot to say in the movie just with her eyes she reacts to a lot of things and I've always loved Felissa Rose and you know since Sleepaway Camp and all the other movies she's been in There's, of course all the kills in the film are absolutely awesome especially the one with the hair curler if you guys ever seen that movie if you ever seen that part in the movie that was amazing but if you guys don't know this movie spawned uh three sequels and uh i ended up getting this set like a couple years ago from anchor bay a long time ago it's also signed by felissa rose herself that has the first uh you know three uh, sleepaway camp movies in it absolutely love that set but uh, for, for you guys that are super fans of this movie, uh, this Blu-ray here, you get a 2K restoration uh, of the film uh, from, from the original film negative. So you get the best possible picture you're ever going to get on, of Sleepaway Camp. You also get two audio commentary tracks, one by the director and like a producer or something, and the other one by uh, Felissa Rose and Jonathan Tiersten, the two main stars of the movie. And you get like a 40-minute uh, like making of the film. Well, it's not really making of, it's like interviews with like the directors and the, some of the stars in the movie talking about their experience making the film which I thought was absolutely amazing because I'm just a super fan of this movie and I, I would have never thought I was ever gonna, we were ever going to get a collector's edition of this, of this movie and I'm just like ec ecstatic uh, about this release here but the other cool thing is you get this cool new artwork uh, on, on the film here but if you like the original poster art you still get it here on the on the flip side of the Blu-ray case here, which is absolutely amazing in my opinion. Definitely pick this one up, guys. If you're a fan of the Sleepaway Camp movies, you will not go wrong with this one. Sleepaway Camp on Blu-ray. And uh, next up over here is another one from uh, Shout Factory, and that is uh, Evil Speak here, starring Clint Howard. In this film, Clint Howard's going to this military school. He's kind of a nerd. Everyone picks on him. Even some of the teachers, they push him around. They kind of just, they keep taunting him and everything. He's kind of going crazy, and then one night, as he's on this cleanup duty downstairs underneath this church where he, you know, where he's staying at, uh, he finds this book that has all these demonic sayings in it, but he doesn't know exactly what's what's on this book until he goes to his computer to transcribe to find out what these words actually mean. And it, these, these words that he's reading out loud, out, as soon as he gets them into English, he starts reading it and they start summoning like the devil and things like that. And he pretty much wants to rage, you know, get, get all revenge on all the people that picked on him throughout this movie. I thought this movie was absolutely cool. Not one of the, my, my top favorite horror movies of all time though. It doesn't really, to me, stand the test of time, like Sleepaway Camp and Friday the 13th and stuff like that. It's more of like, it's, this one's more, if you guys are into movies like uh, like uh, Carrie, it kind of has that, that kind of Carrie kind of vibe to it, kind of like slow burn kind of feel to it. But I really did love the performance of Clint Howard in this film. He did a very good job in this one. Um, this film, this uh, Blu-ray here, has a 1080p transfer, looks very nice on Blu-ray. Stuff kind of has some little grain elements to it. And everything on here, you get a commentary track, interviews, 
that was, which is like 27 minutes long. You also get a, like a bonus interview with Clint Howard talking about the making of the film. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not one of my favorite horror films of all time, but it is worth watching for your super horror horror collectors out there. It really is kind of cool. It's like it's just not like like super like mainstream-ish kind of like Sleepaway Camp is in, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like more people I think know that one than this. But that's Evil Speak here on Blu-ray. Check it out if you guys are a fan of it. All right, guys, next up from Warner Brothers is Son of Batman here on Blu-ray, the one of those uh, DC animated uh, uh, straight-to-DVD films, which I've, I, I've, ne I've never really seen a whole bunch of them. I think I've seen one or two of them. I can't really remember which ones they are. Not really, like, a super big fan of them. But as soon as I found, when I saw this, and it said Son of Batman, I'm like, wait a minute, Batman has a son? In this movie, there's a kid. There's this kid named Damien. He's being trained by these ninjas and his his grandfather, who's uh, Raz Al Ghul. And then these people come down and wage war against his, you know, his grandfather Raz Al Ghul and these all these ninjas that he's being trained by and kill. And his father, his grandfather, gets killed. And then this little kid named Damien is just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna avenge your death, Grandpa. I'm gonna get this guy that killed you. And then, then his mother you know, after all this stuff happens, takes him out of the situation and sends him to his father that he, he's never known. And of course, his father is, is Batman. And he's like, oh my God, my dad's Batman. And kind of thing. And, it was, and, and even Batman is like, I have a son. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. I like the little dynamic between like father and son and Batman like having to deal with him, having a kid and fight crime at the same time. And it's just, then it's pretty much, you know, uh, Damien and uh, Batman trying to find out who killed grandpa kind of thing. I kind of like this one. It it is kind of a little bit dark for uh, like you know little kids that would watch this. There's, there's this one monster in the movie that Batman's trying to get, and he's bringing up like girls to his room, like hookers or whatever. And, and these girls, when they walk into the room, are like, "Do you want me to take this off for you?" I'm like, "Wait a minute, the kids are watching this. Well, why, why are they saying this?" It's like some questionable like uh, dialogue that I uh, or questionable stuff that I've seen in this movie that made me go, uh, "This is for kids, right?" Kind of thing. But I actually really liked it. The animation was. Pretty damn good. I really got into it. Uh, it's only about like 77 minutes or 74 minutes long. It, it really is worth watching if you're a Batman fan. I liked it. But uh, next up over here is Spike Jones is her here on Blu-ray, starring uh, you know Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, I saw this movie a couple months back with Andrew at the movie theater. I thought it was I thought it was a nice little movie. It wasn't like the best film I have ever seen or anything, but I think Spike Jones really kind of knocked it out of the park with this one. It's pretty much about uh, Joaquin Phoenix's character who uh, falls in love with an operating system. Like, you know, he's kind of a lonely guy, doesn't really get out much, he doesn't really talk to a lot of people. He he has this job where he writes letters for people because they can't do it themselves for some reason in this movie. And he falls in love with this, you know, operating system and he, he talks to it. It's like a smart, he's like talking to a smartphone that's a little bit smarter because it's like 20 or 30 years into, into the future. And it's just a relationship he he has with his you know, his uh, operating system. I thought this movie was absolutely lovely. It kind of made me, like, you know, tear up a little bit towards the end. I really liked the mellowness, because this movie really has, like, a little mellow vibe to it that I, I really kind of enjoyed, especially the second time around. But that's her here, guys, on Blu-ray, directed by Spike Jones. I still gotta say, my favorite Spike Jones movie of all time is uh, Being John Malkovich. Absolutely love that movie. But her here, guys, is definitely worth checking out also. Alright, guys, next up from Twilight Time is Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation here on Blu-ray, starring John Saxon, who you guys all know from Enter the Dragon and Nightmare on Elm Street, and James Stewart, the main guy of the film, who you guys all know from To Kill a Mockingbird and Rear Window, one of my favorite... Alfred Hitchcock movies of all time and in this film he plays Mr. Hobbs this grumpy kind of old man that every year he has to get together with his family for this family reunion so he doesn't he doesn't really want to do it because he hates having to hear everyone's problems so he ends up going to the beach house with his family and it's a it's a rundown beach house there's like stairs that are breaking the water doesn't work right in the house there's all these different problems that are happening and of course his kids have kids that are, don't really like him, that throw things at him, that just like, drive him crazy. And it's pretty much him having to deal with his family on a family vacation. I absolutely love this film. It, it's made, it was made in 1962, so the comedy is not like, you know, 
bam, bam, like hitting you, you know, hitting you fast with it. It's kind of like a slow paced kind of, you know, comedy film. It kind of sort of reminds me of like Grumpy Old Men a little bit with the, the way uh, James Stewart, Jimmy Stewart is in this film. And I don't know, I just, I, I just really kind of liked it. It's just pretty much him having to deal with his family. But uh, on this Blu-ray here, you get an isolated score track, you know, with just all the, the, the music of the film, if you want to listen to it that way, and a theatrical trailer. But uh, the transfer of this film was absolutely amazing. And uh, if you guys have never seen this movie, definitely check this one out. Because I've never seen this one up until now. And I was just, I was really pleased with it. I was, I was laughing throughout the film. Because I, I love, like, old, like, 50s, 60s kind of comedies. Like, it really kind of, it kind of, like you know, chills me out a little bit, kind of like The Odd Couple in a way. You know, when I watch it, I sort of like chill out and have a good time watching it. But that's Mr. Hobbs Take a Va Takes a Vacation here on Blu-ray. If you guys are interested in this title, check out ScreenArchives.com. Uh, they, they're the ones that are releasing this one if you guys want to pick it up. Check out. It's pretty cool. Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation. All right, guys, next up from Sony is That Awkward Moment here on Blu-ray, starring Michael B. Jordan and Zac Efron. It's pretty much about these three college friends that make a pact with each other to not get into relationships because they're kind of sick of getting into relationships with people and then breaking up and getting together and breaking up kind of thing. So they, there's about these three friends that make a pact with each other to, you know, just to stay single, to play the field. And that's pretty much what the movie is until, you know, one of them had a wife, you know, one of them has a wife that was breaking up with him as he, you know, was, uh, you know, making this pact. And this other, and then, so, you know, Zac Efron meets this one girl he starts to like. And it's one of those things like, who's going to lose the bet kind of thing, you know? Um, I, I kind of like this one. It was kind of a sweet, uh, you know, little uh, romantic comedy. I thought it was a little bit better than About Last Night. I thought it has a lot more charm, a lot more witty, uh, ban you know, banter or, or dialogue in this film. I know, I, I did really kind of like it. I like the ladies they had in this movie. But on this Blu-ray here, you get a gag reel, extended gag reel, which I thought was really funny. I'm, I'm making a featurette on here with Zac Efron and the cast talking about their experience making the film and how they had to... Uh, they didn't have to, but they all kind of like, like you know, stay together during the making of the film, like in the same room or the same house or whatever during the making of the film so they can bond with each other. Even after the film, they're all like best friends now kind of thing. But that's the awkward moment here on Blu-ray. I thought it was a, a funny, sweet, uh, you know, com uh, romantic comedy. I would recommend you guys checking this one out. It was kind of cool. But uh, next up over here is uh, from Paramount, and that is Crocodile Dundee. And Crocodile Dundee 2 here on Blu-ray, starring uh, Paul Hogan. It's pretty much about this uh, one New York reporter that, that that finds out about this one guy that lives in Australia that has you know that has this whole like mystique about him because he's like a crocodile wrestler. And one day a crocodile bit half his leg off, and you know he kind of wrestled it, and he's still alive to this day. And she wants to go down there to you know like write a write a story about the guy. And she, she goes down there and meets him and hangs out in the, you know, the, the Australian bush or whatever. And she deals with crocodiles and things until she brings Crocodile Dundee, you know, the guy that is always living in the jungle, to New York City and all, you know, all the craziness that he has to deal with there because he's never been, you know, in a, in, you know, lived in big city life. So he's like dealing with all this, you know, craziness with people walking everywhere and him not really knowing what to say to people and things. Um, it, it, it's kind of, it was, it was okay. I remember liking these movies a lot more than I do now because I back in the day I used to rent them like crazy I'm like oh my god this is funny like the whole part with the knife this one guy's trying to rob trying to rob Crocodile Dundee with this little knife and you know Paul Hogan pulls out this even bigger knife kind of thing like I remember really loving these movies back in the day and then watching them again Maybe maybe me me just being older, I I just couldn't get into them anymore. I the picture quality on them are absolute is absolutely amazing. There's really no special features on these blue on this Blu-ray here except for like theatrical trailers and things. But I don't know, guys. I just couldn't really get into them anymore. But that's the Crocodile Dundee one and two Blu-ray set here. But uh, next up over here is a movie I love and I will always love, and it's directed by Steven Spielberg, and that is The Terminal here on uh, Blu-ray, starring Tom Hanks and Catherine Zeta-Jones. It's pretty much about this guy named Victor Navorsky. Uh, he 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 come he's coming to America from this his country Krakosia, and he gets trapped in the airport because you know his country as he was in the air. You know, there's this word that broken out because then it's it's really kind of hard to explain. It's pretty much uh, you know Tom Hanks being stuck in this airport for months and months and months and just trying to live there and trying to figure out what he's gonna do there and how he's ever gonna get out 
of this airport because this whole you know airport system you know with different security things because they can't let him into the America without having a country you know, like a passport and all this weird stuff and he can't go back home because there's there's no home to go back to because of all this war that's happening I always thought this movie was absolutely amazing because I like I love movies that take place in one setting you know what I mean like uh, career opportunities takes place in like one big store and uh, you know this one takes place in the whole in, in an airport and I thought that was absolutely amazing and I did I just absolutely love this movie the transfer of it was absolutely amazing you know it still has a little it has still has the grand elements to it so w which makes it look even better in my opinion but that's the terminal here on blu-ray definitely check this one out guys i highly 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 recommend this one if you guys have never seen it before all right guys next up is another steven spielberg movie and that is amistad here on blu-ray starring morgan freeman uh, anthony hopkins matthew mcconaughey it's this movie is pretty much about these enslaved africans who are bringing who are being brought over to america as slaves but in during transport they take over their ship and kill all the you know the bad guys on board that are enslaving them and then it's them trying to find their journey back to their homeland but in the meantime they're both get seized and taken in to a you know to America anyway and they're being put on trial for murdering the people that enslaved them and it's pretty much the back and forth in the in the law room about their freedom and or if they should be slaves and things like that I always liked this movie I've always uh, really liked the the TV miniseries Roots and that was kind of the show that really got me in to like, you know, watching movies or TV shows about slavery or reading stories about slavery. But this is a very well told story directed by Steven Spielberg, beautifully acted by everyone that's in this movie. And the transfer uh, on this Blu-ray here was absolutely outstanding. The best I ever seen this movie look. I remember watching this movie for the first time ever. I believe it was on like VHS. I think I was in high school at, at the time when they were playing it in like history class or Black History Month or something like that. But I highly recommend this Amistad movie if you've never seen it before. It really is worth a watch here on Blu-ray. You only get a making of special feature right on there and a theatrical trailer. There's no new special features added onto this Blu-ray disc here, but the picture quality alone is worth picking up this Blu-ray for. And uh, next up over here is uh, another animated film that when I first watched it back on DVD when it first came out, I fell in love with it because there's not that there's not a whole lot of dialogue in it whatsoever. And that is Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron here on Blu-ray. It's pretty much about this horse named Spirit. Um, you know, he's like the leader of his pack that you know protects all the horses in his pack around him until a guy. You know, the humans come and take him, horse snap him away from his family and kind of enslave him. And it's pretty much him just trying not to give up the, the will to want to go live wild and free and how he's trying to get out of human people's hands. A beautifully told story by mostly, mostly music, very little dialogue in this film. And it's just very beautiful on Blu-ray. I was really surprised at how this movie looks. It felt like I was watching a 3D movie at some points. You know, it, it was that, that good on Blu-ray. And of course, all the special features from the original DVD is ported over uh, over here onto, onto the Blu-ray here. So you're not going to miss out on any special features. Definitely check this one out. Good for the whole entire family. And uh, next up over here from Paramount was Happy Days. And this is Happy Days, the complete fifth season here on a DVD. You get all 26 episodes of season five here. And uh, it's just one of those all-time shows that takes place in the 50s of just, you know, of this what happens in the 50s and just like teenage life and what what's what's happening and of course you get Fonzie hey you know in there but the cool thing is about this season season five is the first appearance of Robin Williams playing Mork from Ork who you guys all know from Mork and Mindy that, that, that's the show that started in 19 I believe 78 and this is the very first appearance I believe of that character and you know like that, that popped in in one of the episodes here when like Richie is like kind of going crazy and he, he thinks he's he thinks he's going out of his mind and he then Rob Williams comes in playing Mork and he thinks like an aliens in his house and he doesn't know what's going on kind of episode very very funny stuff and uh, I think I, I think the very 
next year after Robin Williams appeared on this show playing that character, he got that show, Mark and Mindy, with that same character because everyone really loved seeing him in this episode. And I, I, that's what I think it is. I'm not exactly sure, but it was just kind of cool to see a, a very first appearance of Robin Williams playing, uh, playing Mark from Orc, you know? But that's Happy Days here on a DVD Season 5. Go out there and pick it up if you guys are uh, collecting the Happy Days seasons. Very good show. The picture quality of this was outstanding. It looked a lot better than I thought it was going to. It was much more brighter and vibrant. Like they shot it with better film or something. I don't know what it was. But that's Happy Days Season 5 here on DVD. Check it out if you guys are a fan of the show. Alright guys, next up from Lionsgate is I Frankenstein 3D here on Blu-ray starring Aaron Eckhart aka Two-Face from Batman and uh, in this film Aaron Eckhart plays uh, Frankenstein or Victor Frankenstein's monster and in this film it takes place 200 years after he was created he's killed his ma he's killed his creator and is going to live on his own but in the meantime he there's these gargoyles there's these demons they're fighting against one another off one thing the book that Victor Frankenstein his you know you know created and wrote all his notes on how to you know make, make a human being and keep him alive kind of thing it was just a war between the two and Aaron Eckhart is stuck you know slap you know, stuck slap dab right in the middle of this war and has to fight you know you know both of them and stuff um that's all I can how I can really kind of explain this movie the the story is kind of like all over the place in my opinion but the thing is I kind of enjoyed this thing for what it was like one of those guilty pleasure kind of movies like I, I I heard nothing but bad things about it from a lot of reviewers and a lot of like friends of mine like oh man I, I, I could barely get through that one but the action of it like the special effects of it were absolutely it was just fun you know what I mean like it was it was it's fun to watch don't don't go in there thinking you're gonna get some sort of mind-blowing story like the terminal or like Amistad or anything like that it's just you go there for some stupid action you know sit back turn your mind off just have some fun with it you know it looked pretty good on th in 3d also Aaron Eckhart I think is a, a decent actor in here the only thing I had trouble with you know since he's playing like Frankenstein's like monster or whatever I wish they had like bolts in his neck like the old like Frankenstein movies you know like put those put the bolts in his neck like how he, he would get electric electrically charged to like actually wake up and things like that well they, all they really did was put scars on his face so I'm like that's it that's all, that's all you're gonna do. I liked it for what it was. It's not amazing or any, by any means, but it is it is worth watching if you guys are in, in the movies like Underworld and you know Resident Evil and stuff like that. It kind of has that kind of vibe to it. All right, next up is Terry Fader here, live in concert. If you guys don't know who Terry Fader is, he's a season two winner of uh, America's Got Talent a couple years back. He won the million dollar prize. And if you guys don't know anything about Terry Fader's act, he's kind of like uh, Jeff Dunham in a, in a way with, you know, with uh, ventriloquism and using puppets and stuff. It's, it, his whole special is not, oh, it's not just, it's not just straight comedy and ventriloquism. It's all, mu it's musical acts also like mixed into it and I think that's what kind of killed this special for me because there wasn't an, like an enough balance between comedy and music for me to make me you know I don't know enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to because you guys all know I love really raunchy stand-up comedy because I've been collecting stand-up DVDs for years and that's my kind of style like Richard Pryor George Carlin and uh, this is my very first special uh, ever watching of his so I, I just wanted to get a uh, you know a feel for what kind of stand-up that he does and I just really couldn't get into it it was just okay it wasn't bad it, I just couldn't really get into it but that's Terry Fader live in concert and uh, next up over here from 20th Century Fox is an 80s classic to me, an 80s comedy classic to me, and that is Weekend at Bernie's here on Blu-ray. Uh, it's just one of my all-time favorite comedies. I remember watching it back in the day, like at a summer camp and things like that. If you guys don't know the story of this, which I'm sure all of you guys do, it's pretty much about these two working stiffs, uh, Larry and Richard. You know, bad, they're kind of just like tired of doing their jobs. They're like, they, they, they're not moving up in the world. They, just, they want to do something that's better than this until one day they're, they're working and they find out that someone in their company is embezzling two million dollars and they want to tell their boss so maybe they can get the promotion of a lifetime and they go and tell their boss Bernie and when they do 
his boss gets all excited and invites him down to you know the boss's beach house to hang out for the weekend but as soon as those two guys go to the beach house they find out that his boss has been killed and they're like oh my god you know my, my boss is dead and like they think people are after them and of course as soon as they find out that their boss is dead like all these people start showing up to the house and thinking the boss is alive and they don't want to be you know blamed for the murder or anything like that so they sort of play along with him being alive but he's been he's been dead for like you know a couple hours and stuff it's just a really over the top funny movie i even love the sequel to be honest i know a lot of people hate weekend at bernie's too but i like it because it's, it's in a more tropical setting and you know uh there's like all this voodoo stuff involved and bernie's like up and about every time he hears music i absolutely love these movies the transfer on this one is absolutely amazing definitely upgrade it to blu-ray if you're a fan of the movie but the sad thing is there's only a theatrical trailer on this get it on blu-ray because the transfer alone is worth upgrading but that's weekend at bernie's here on blu-ray love 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 this movie. Alright, next up is another 80s comedy classic in my opinion, and that is Revenge of the Nerds here for the very first time on Blu-ray. For you guys who have never seen Revenge of the Nerds before, it's pretty much about these two best friends, uh, Lewis and Gilbert. They're going to college for the very first time to experience college life, and as soon as they get there, they come to find out that college is just like high school. They're still getting picked on by the jocks and looked at like they're outcasts and things, and it's pretty much them dealing with college life and trying to start off you know start up a fraternity and try to get into some fraternities but they're never let into any so they have to start up their own with other outcasts that are never let into other fraternities also called lambda 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 and then it's them you know playing pranks on the jocks and the jocks playing pranks on them and it's in a back it's a back and forth up until the a very uh till the very end of the movie where you get like a whole battle royale of brawn uh, smarts and music at the end of this thing and see who, who wins out overall. I've always really loved this movie. This movie spawned three sequels and the fourth one, the fourth Revenge of the Nerds movie, I believe was a made-for-TV movie called Nerds in Love, which I've always loved. I, my favorite character of the Revenge of the Nerds movies would have to be Booger, played by Curtis Armstrong. Absolutely love that actor. But uh, this movie right here, uh, all the special features that are on it are from the previous special edition that came out a few years ago, so you're not missing out on any special features. The Blu-ray transfer on this is absolutely amazing. It still has some grain, grain elements to it, but it doesn't take away from the picture quality, and it is a definite upgrade from the DVD version that came out a few years ago. But I, I just love Revenge of the Nerds. I still have my Atomic Wedgie collection here. Absolutely love it. Make sure you guys get Revenge of the Nerds out on Blu-ray. And uh, next up over here is a documentary um, I was really interested in checking out, and it's called Plan Eat here on DVD. It's an it's, it's a, it's a amateur documentary uh, made by like a first-time filmmaker, but it's pretty much a documentary about um, how to eat right and uh, how to you know, eat more, more plants and vegetables than like red meat and how red meat can like, cause certain uh, diseases or certain things inside your body if you, eat a, if you eat a lot of it and things like that. Like stuff I already kind of knew, like don't eat fast food and things like that. But like it's just they, they, they get into a discussion how to eat fresh vegetables and you know like fresh fruits and stuff like that and how that stuff will make your body a lot better. Since you guys all know I'm going through like you know trying to lose weight and exercise a lot more. I just wanted to like watch something like this to get more ideas and what I can eat. And But that's Plant Eat here on DVD. Um, I, I enjoyed it for what it was, but the next documentary, I, I really, like, really got really enticed when I was watching it, and it's called Tapped here on DVD. It's a documentary about the bottled, bottled water companies and how they go to small towns and, like, you know, get their, you know, get water from their little supply that they have, like, you know, out of their lakes and rivers or whatever, and, you know, take it for themselves so they can bottle the water and sell it back to us, and uh, how they don't pay the small towns anything to go in there to take their own water away from them and it's just kind of like a whole you know a, a, a cluster of just messed up stuff that Pepsi and Coke and all those you know big companies do and it's not it's not just that they go into how the the bottles themselves are actually made in these you know uh, chemical plants and how there's a lot of weird chemicals that get into these plastic bottles and like you know cause could cause cancer and all these other you know diseases inside humans and how some of these plants are next to these small towns and how some of these small towns are affected by these chemical plants being in their town you know what I mean it's really kind of a messed up 
documentary, but really insightful. Like a lot of stuff I didn't even know was going on when it comes to bottled water stuff. It kind of makes me not even want to drink stuff out of, you know, buy bottled water anymore. But that's tapped here on DVD. A very well done documentary about the bottled water companies. I was really enticed by it. I really did enjoy this documentary. Make sure you guys check it out if you guys are interested in this. And uh, next up over here from Anchor Bay, and that is uh, Vampire Academy here on Blu-ray. Uh, it kind of has that, that the look on the cover of like a Twilight movie. It's pretty much about these. It's pretty much about this uh, academy of vampires, kind of sort of like Harry Potter in a way, where vampires go to school and learn different magic and how they all like they they go for lunch and they humans come and like let them suck on their blood and different things like that. And of course, there's like a conflict between the queen. There was there was this queen, like the head of a, a bloodline or whatever, that ran away from this you know uh, vampire academy. And then somehow got brought back, you know, uh, months or years later and has to deal with, you know, why, why she ran away, why, how, you know, everyone's treating her now that she ran away and now she's back kind of thing. It was really kind of just a whatever movie to me. Like I, I was watching it and I, like halfway through, I was kind of like, uh, I'm done. I don't care anymore. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of like, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get through the whole thing. It wasn't badly made or badly acted or anything like that. It was just, I was watching it going, ah, I don't care, you know, kind of thing. But it does does have like a, you know, Twilight slash like Harry Potter vibe to it throughout the whole kind of movie. Of course, you get like people turning into werewolves, you know, kind of things like Twilight would. And But me, I just really couldn't get into it. But that's Vampire Academy here on Blu-ray. Alright guys, next up is House of Dust here on DVD. It's pretty much about this mental asylum, this insane asylum where all these crazy people are locked away into and the doctors at this hospital are giving everyone lobotomies and throwing them in the crematorium and keeping them in these little jars and then it flashes like forward 60 years into the future where now these young med students are going to school and one day they break into this old abandoned hospital where all this crazy stuff happened over 60 years ago and they're having a, they're just messing around and they knock over one of the ashes of, of one of the people that they lobotomized and crema, you know cremated back in the day and it stirs up a spirit and it haunts them and drives them all crazy and that's pretty much the synopsis of this film in, in a nutshell and uh, I thought this one was actually kind of cool to be honest with you it was only like what 88 minutes it kind of moves kind of quick has some decent scares in it not a whole lot of like blood and gore or anything like that and it was really kind of decent in my opinion it has some nice quick uh, witty dialogue in there the acting's pretty good um, this, I don't think there's really much of special features on this disc, but if you guys are a fan of like, you know, haunted kind of places and people getting kind of like possessed or hearing voices, you know, kind of things, definitely check this one out. Really is worth watching. I, I liked it very much. And uh, next up over here, oh my god, is a movie I, I, I really tried to like. I mean... The name of the movie alone sounded cool, and the cover of it alone, the cover of it looked cool as hell. I'm like, I, I want to see this, you know. And it's called Poseidon Rex. It's pretty much about these deep sea divers that go, you know, down deep into the water, and they're looking for gold and or like treasure or something. And they place these little like explosive things at the bottom of the sea to try to, you know, see what's underneath the the, the surface even more. And <laughs> as soon as they blow it up. This big Tyrannosaurus Rex comes shooting out of the water and eats and kills a lot of the people, you know, from that deep, deep sea diving mission. And then it, you know, then it goes back up to the future, like a couple of months or a week or something. And that one guy that survived from that attack wants to go back to see if he can find the gold and stir up the whole T-Rex thing again. It's really kind of hard to explain. It was really kind of badly acted, really badly put together. It kind of felt like some of the, the actors that they had in this movie, like, you know, when they were shooting on location on whatever island they were shooting on, like the people that lived there are like, you can't shoot here unless you put me in the movie. You know, kind of thing. So like, okay, we'll put you in the movie. And then they put them in the movie. And then they're like, okay. It, it was just really kind of like, really kind of bad. I don't know. I, I just really couldn't get into Poseidon Rex. In my opinion. <laughs> 
Hi, just stopping by real quick. Have only one thing to show you. It's a TV series. What a surprise. It's from the BBC and it's called Afterlife and it stars Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead and Leslie Sharp. Uh, Andrew Lincoln plays a psychologist and a university professor who doesn't believe in all this paranormal, medium, hocus-pocus malarkey. And Leslie Sharp plays Allison Mundy, a medium who doesn't want to be a medium anymore. She's seen spirits since she was a child and she's just so tired of it. Each episode is different. It concerns a different spirit each time, but it does follow the two primary characters, uh, the psychologist and the medium. And the psychologist wants to write a book about the medium, so that's why they're connected. But like I say, each episode is different. Different spirits appear to ask them for help. And there's a mystery about the psychologist. So this is really cool if you like paranormal activity type movies or anything to do with with mediums and psychological thrillers. I picked this up. It's on my list. Alrighty. Thanks, Brennan. Back to you. But uh, next up over here from the BBC is uh, Chased by Dinosaurs here on DVD. This is from the creators of Walking with Dinosaurs, that new uh, that movie that came out recently, which I have never seen. And it's pretty much like a, a nature show where this one guy goes on location in the desert and uh, wants to, re you know, recreate dinosaurs and like he sees he talks about bones and like this big claw that he finds and he wants to find out what dinosaur this big claw came you know this big like you know claw came from it's him going in you know going into the the deserts and stuff like that to find out where it came from but then in in this show they they put cgi dinosaurs in there so it looks like he's actually interacting with dinosaurs like oh that's the dinosaur that has this claw this this is a t-rex claw or this is like you know a, a raptor claw kind of thing but the cgi is done kind of poorly just a little bit but at the same time it was really kind of enjoyable it's like a three episode show of, of him just like you know going out on three different little missions like three 25 30 minute episodes of him just looking at dinosaurs it's kind of like watching jurassic park in a way but a little bit lower scale scale you know like he's out there touching cgi dinosaurs and things like that and it was, it was actually really kind of enjoyable if you guys like like stuff like like uh, old steve Irwin episodes like oi crikey there's an alligator over there and stuff like that it's kind of sort of like in that kind of vein but with this with just an, an, a, another guy going out there uh pretending like he's talking or seeing real dinosaurs out there but they're just cgi dinosaurs and they're putting you know what i mean it's one of those kind of things but that's chased by dinosaurs here on dvd check it out if you see it out there guys it was a decent watch. And uh, next up over here from Wolf Video is Hot Guys with Guns. It's pretty much about this one one actor, struggling actor guy in Hollywood. He really wants to, you know, get this role in this TV show. So he decides to go to a, you know, a, a private eye class to learn how to become like a private eye. And in the meantime, he's going out during his class uh, assignments taking pictures of things and trying to, you know, like, you know, get clues to bring back to his, you know, his uh, teacher and things like that. But then in the meantime, he comes across and finds out that there's these, these bandits that are going to these sex parties and committing these, like, you know, robberies and things like that. And it's pretty much him trying to find out who's doing that. And then him and his boyfriend, you know, get together and try to figure out what the hell is going on also. I thought it was kind of a decent, a, a decent movie because it is a, a gay comedy. It's kind of like a gay lethal weapon. Like all the people in the movie, I believe, were gay. Um, I thought it was I thought it was decent for what it was. To be completely honest with you, the acting was really good. Even I get, there was even a quick appearance in here by a, my friend Leon Accord, who was uh, from uh, Old Dogs and New Tricks, a DVD that I got recently too. And I hear like a quick little cameo on this. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, that guy's awesome. But uh, that's Hot Guys with Guns. If you see it out there, it's like it's like I said, it's, it's like a lethal weapon, but a gay version. But yeah, guys, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today for my Blu-ray DVD update video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.